comes to the Canadian federal government. That's one thing when it comes to renewing your passport. Another thing is that China is now uh, condemning Canada's decision to ban 5G by Huawei and as a TE as something of grounds of no basis, saying that it's uh, Canada saying, well, it's high risk to be able to allow them to come here as uh, these uh, Chinese companies who are state owned, well, essentially would have access to data. And that is something that Canada has made a stance on as of today. And this is China's hitting back. Well, essentially, Beijing is saying that the grounds that Canada's come with to uh, ban telecom giant Huawei and ZTE from Canadian 5G networks is unfair. And there is no grounds for saying that there is risk. Essentially, as you know, if you recall uh, what happened with Huawei's CTO that was uh, detained here in Canada a few years ago under a warrant by the United States as uh, they had breached the embargo with Iran and were doing business and the Huawei executive was held here in uh, Canadian custody until that case was resolved and now she's back in China but that has created uh, a, a bit of a, a situation with China in terms of understanding well how well is it playing when it comes to with certain nations and now as of late as you've seen what's happened with Russia as China has still yet to put sanctions on Russia's invasion of Ukraine since February 24th well the United States made this decision as well and Canada did so and if you recall TikTok was a massive issue when President Trump was at the helm saying that is something that he is either looking at ensuring that TikTok is purchased by an American company or ban it altogether we've seen TikTok is banned in India and some other countries as they're saying that it, there is breach in terms of uh, the Chinese giant companies uh, taking data and being able to mine that something that we've seen an issue when it comes to telecom companies as well as digital companies like Facebook and internet companies so this is of concern and that is of late what the status is uh, when it comes to the Chinese company being able to bid for the 5G uh, in Canada.